Today is a perspective and mindset video for the minutes, days, and weeks following a beard trim. Now roll with me on this. You get your beard trim, it is looking crispy. It is perfect. You take those post trim pictures, you show it off on Instagram, you show it off on Facebook. Everyone's like, man, that looks clean. Man, that looks crispy because it does. Now you wake up the next day and you go to style your beard and it just doesn't seem the same. It's not as crispy. It doesn't look as perfect as it did yesterday. You are not alone. That is natural. There seems to be a process that happens after a beard trim, and it looks a little bit like this. Perfect on the day of the trim, the day after, not quite as good. It is then going to take a couple of days or even sometimes a week or more to settle in and become that perfect beard style that you were hoping for. Now, this can happen from your styling routine, the way you're styling it, you slightly adjust and figure out how to get it the way you want it. Or like me, sometimes you want to make those small adjustments. The way that your beard lies when they're given that trim may not be how it stays in the following days. So for me, a beard trim is always two, three, four days where I'm making slight adjustments. I do need to put a little caution with that statement. And let me say this here and let me say it very clearly. Do not chase the perfect beard trim or you will be chasing a razor. Okay? Do not chase the perfect beard trim, otherwise you will be chasing a razor. If you're like, oh, it's a little bit uneven here, let me switch it on this side, let me go this side, let me go this side, let me go this side, then you're left with no beard. There's a difference with making small adjustments that are pretty like obvious, right? For me, I like to trim, I'm always safe on my under beard, but then in the days following, I can kind of grab my beard and do this, and then I'll pull down, and there'll be hairs that'll be two, three inches longer than the rest, I know that I can take a little bit off of those hairs for me personally. That's a big difference with being like, uh, this side may not be exactly the same as this one. Don't chase perfection because a beard shouldn't be perfect. If it was perfect, it wouldn't look just right. We want texture. We want a little bit of just manliness, right? Just a little bit of beard in there. So I want to make this video because I feel like a lot of guys are trimming their beard right now. They're styling their beard. And I know, even if they're not saying anything, the next day in the mirror, they're like, ah, I'm, I'm just not as happy with it. That is normal. That is natural. As you style it, as you make subtle adjustments, it will settle in and be that perfect beard trim. That's one of the reasons why I don't like to trim my beard very often because once my beard gets settling, then it's looking great, then it's feeling amazing, and then when I trim it, I gotta start that process all over again. So short video today, but I do think it's gonna help some guys out there, a lot of people are gonna relate to what I have to say. So questions to leave you guys with, have you experienced this? What is your thought process after a trim? Do you leave it alone for a set amount of time? Do you make subtle adjustments like I do? Does it settle into place with your styling? Let us know. So so we can learn from your experiences and overall just kind of bond together be like yeah he's right i know exactly what he means yes great comment down there hit a thumbs up on that one so thank you guys if you haven't already consider subscribing also consider adding me on instagram dancy bearded i post pictures of like my new golf cart i show my cute family i have grilling stuff on there with my blackstone griddle grill just a little bit of content that's outside of just beard stuff check it out thank you guys dancy bearded stay bearded and stay positive we